All right, Shalom, giving all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kodesh. Peace to the hopeful elect of Israel, double honor to the apostles, the elders, and brethren, the great millstone, and all like-minded brothers who are preaching the truth all around the earth. Let me close this window, so lock in. Try to keep the noise down. And to all you like-minded brothers and sisters out there who believe in the gospel of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, uh, I say to you all, Shalom, your brother, I tie to by you And I'm going to bring a quick lesson on um, just really inspired, again, I, as, as it was in one of my other lessons, I got a phone call uh, about a new law or bill, and this goes out to the veterans out there, those of us who did end up serving the Esau's military, right? And for those who don't know, there there's a thing called, uh, you know, VA benefits, whatever, whatever benefits you qualify for um, if you've served in the military. So this goes particularly out to the veterans who are out there, uh, who are either in the truth or coming into the truth or whatever it may be, whatever your situation is. That uh, Creepy Joe, and I'm not going to say his name because... You know, we got to watch what we're saying um, is either getting ready to sign a new law or a new bill. I can't remember. Um, or the person that called me said they couldn't remember whether it was actually signed now or he was about to sign it. That requires that's going to require all veterans who receive benefits to take the stabbing jab. OK that all veterans who receive any benefits may be required to take the stabbing jab. Okay, so that means if you get any kind of benefit at all, and, and for those who don't know, you know, it's based on percentage and all that kind of old stuff is really too complex to get into. But again, those who may be receiving it understand what I'm saying. You know, if you go to the VA for any kind of benefits, whether you get medication from them or uh, you go get a physical through them whatever the case uh, money um, benefits okay um, they're going to require their veterans uh, take this take this uh, shot now I've warned some other some other people about this I've been telling them this for months that they hadn't gotten around to it but they eventually will. And, and that's, it goes for anybody that's going to be on state aid, public aid, welfare, if they still call it that, whatever it is, if you're getting any kind of assistance from any state around the country, more than likely, this is how they're going to make you, they're going to make you do it because they know that you depend on this money or you depend on these services. So they're going to make you do it. Okay. And you have to be, you have to be aware of this. So for the veterans out there, this is lucky. I just finished eating lunch, so forgive me. Um, so for the veterans out there, you know, you knew that you know that this was going to happen, okay, eventually, okay. So it lines up with what the scripture says and the times in which we're we're living in, okay. Um, that these things were going to happen, all right. That you would get these draconian laws, laws to take away your your freedom, your liberty, and such. Okay, and and be under a total dictatorship to totalitarian leadership. Okay, this is uh, Second Ezra chapter nine, and jump right in at the first verse. And it says, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, what uh, slack at which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand." that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Verse 3, therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes, right, we see earthquakes on a weekly basis, and uproars of the people in the world, okay, and, and, and my point being that though they have a lot of these Edomites who have these underground cells, of, of people who have militias or part of a militia of some type 
and they got their little bug out kit and their little doomsday kit and they potted meat and sardines and crackers and all of this stuff. These people are also, a lot of them are veterans and they are equipped and have equipment and they have arms of some type. They're going to be a part of this uproar when, when and if, if it's true that this law is put into place and they start cutting these people off of their benefits unless they come in and get this vaccine, okay? Because um, there are a lot of them who say they're not going to take it, you see? It's not just, you know, Jake saying, well, I ain't doing it or whatever. A lot of them are saying they're not, not, they're not going to do it, okay? So we're going to see you know, this total police state come to pass, all right? And it's going to be in our day, okay, in which we're living right now. They don't have 500 FEMA camps for nothing. Somebody's going to them, you see? Okay, so I'll read that again, verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, okay? And let me go over to, uh, I'm going to try to hit this real quick and we'll be done. Um, I don't have that much time, but nonetheless, through the spirit, I felt like this needed to be needed to be done here, okay? So, Salakia, as I fumble. To my next scripture. What did I want? Okay, this is Daniel. Book of Daniel, uh, chapter 7. We jump right straight to verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. And that's what they're doing. They're changing everything, taking away everything that, as they would call it, your, you know, God-given rights, as they call it, okay? And that's what they're doing. They're taking away all your liberty, all your freedom, okay? And going to put you in a state where you can only do exactly what they told you to do if you want to keep living, okay? Which, all of this is a prelude to what? The mark of the beast, you see? Because... Once they make it mandatory that you have to take this thing, and particularly those who are getting aid in in, in any way, you know, federally or through the, or through the state, you know, they're going to make these demands and requirements, or else what? You'll be hungry, you'll be naked, you'll be cold, you won't have any shelter, you won't have any clothes. That's how they're looking at this thing, okay? And that you you're going to conform to what they want from you, okay? Verse 25, and he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and a dividing of times. But the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to, cons to consume and to destroy it unto the end. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. Right. Okay. This place is done. Babylon is done. But before our kingdom comes into play, it comes into view. Before the kingdom is set up. Okay. These perilous times have to happen first. Okay, and I'll finish it out. Verse 28. Hitherto is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel, uh, my cog, cog, cogitation, cogitation must much troubled me, and my countenance changed in me, but I kept the matter in my heart. It's like you. I'm rushing, trying to get through here. Let me go over to my next scripture. Uh, what do I want here? What do I want? 
Let's go over to Revelation. Let's do that. Okay. This is uh, Revelation 3. And uh, I'll start right there at uh, verse 7. And it reads, And to the angel of the church of Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David. He that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. Right? God was shy. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from what? The hour of temptation. And that hour of temptation is on its way. Okay? Where you're going to have to, you're going to be made to choose. Either you're going to live for the Lord or you die. And you have to be ready to make that choice. And just like the person that called me and told me, I, I've been told him, don't, this time was going to come and don't get scared. You know, don't be scared about it. Because these things have to happen. Just know that the kingdom is closer. With, every, with everything that they're doing, the kingdom is getting closer and closer. Okay? I'll read verse 9 again. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Right. We stayed in the truth. Okay, we'll die for this truth. Okay. Um, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Right, you can't get scared now because you see it. Now you see it coming to the forefront. Now you see it's getting ready to hit you where you where you didn't think it was going to where where you didn't think it was going to happen where you didn't think that it would go as far as this because there are a lot of people who live off of the benefits that they get either by state or federally or you know and that includes the medical care that they get and so on you see so now you know you got people who started to get shook um i think that's all i want let me see Now, let's go over to Revelation um, 7. I don't want to keep going. Well, I don't want to go that long. Uh, Revelation 7, and jump in at verse 11, and it reads, And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped the Most High, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our power forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of what? Great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of the Most High, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them they shall hunger no more neither thirst any more neither shall the sun light on them nor any heat for the land which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of water and the most high shall wipe away all tears from their eyes right so those going through tribulation who may die you know well, hey you got a resting place in the most high, man. Okay? Because some, some will perish during this time. Okay? Some will be put to death. Some will go to prison. Some will be on the run. However, the Lord is going to work it. You see? Let me get one more. This will be Luke uh, 21. And go to 
verse 25 and it reads and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity right the sea and the waves roaring men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth and now you know there are people who are starting to get shook up over this okay just the thought and which i told them it was coming just the thought that every little benefit that they have is could potentially be taken away because you're going to be made to make a choice, a mandatory choice. You either take the stab or jab or you get your benefits cut off. You see, verse 26, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the son of man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. And those of us in the truth, we are waiting for Yahweh Shai to come and rescue us and get us out of this place, man. This place is done. Don't look for anything to get any better. I mean, you the wickedness is just at an all-time high, okay? So this is really going out again. It's a it's a it's it's something to keep on the forefront of your mind. But particularly those who may at this particular time, for whatever reason, you're getting state funding or, or, or you're getting health benefits through your state. And for you veterans out there, you know, if you're getting any kind of assistance through the VA, they're looking to cut you off. You either take this stuff, this shot, or they're going to cut you off. Okay. Hey, put like brothers been preaching teaching, putting up less, put your faith in the most high, how about Shem Yahweh Shai, don't worry about nothing, don't get scared, don't get shook, okay, Lord willing, this was edifying and comforting, but you be on the lookout for it, okay, I'm going to give all praise to the most high, how about Shem Yahweh Shai, about Shem Yahweh peace to the hope of the elect of Israel, double honor to the apostles, the elders and brethren at Great Millstone for teaching this truth all around the earth and to all the like-minded brothers and you few sisters out there who believe in the gospel of Yahweh Shai. I say to you all, Shalom, I'll see you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Shalom.